Hi everyone! Hello internet friends! It's me, Melissa. Um, I'm back again with Basic Beauty Bitch. I'm just a basic bitch who loves all things beauty, um, makeup, skin care, hair care, that kind of thing. Um, right now my hair looks a hot mess. We've been out all day. Um, a little bit about me. I have two children. One, my son is 20 years old. My daughter is 17 years old. Um, and i married and we went out today. We spent all day shopping and eating out and having a great time. We picked up some clothes um, and some shoes and surprisingly not any makeup, but um, as much as I love to shop for makeup at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx and stuff, I kind of recently realized that I have a pretty strong makeup like addiction. Like I just keep buying it. Um, when I think something's cute, I just I just have to pick it up. And that's so weird for me because um, it wasn't very long ago that I didn't care about makeup at all. Like, at all. Um, so as we're, as we're doing this, this internet YouTube thing, I guess I'm going to, you know, let you get to know me a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you this little, small little story about me. Um... So I'm 40 years old, and I um, have nev was never really into makeup. I was never one of these girls that, like, glammed up or wanted to, like, it wasn't like I had anything against it. A, I didn't know how to do it. Still don't really know how to do it. I'm just kind of playing and faking it and doing what I can. Um, so that was the first thing. I didn't know how to do it. Um, the second thing is, it was never really like um, a priority for me as far as, um, you know, where our money would go. I would never put it into makeup. So I was usually just, if I did buy any products, they were like very cheap drugstore products. And while there are amazing drugstore finds out there, um, there is a difference in quality. <sighs> Okay, let me just interject this. If you hear noises around or if you see me looking around, it's because both of my cats, or two out of my three, I have three cats. Two of them are in this room with me right now. And um, yeah, I'm talking about you. They're not happy that I am not paying attention to them. So <laughs> if you hear them, if you see them, if they hop up here, you know, to say hello, don't be surprised, okay? So anyway, so wasn't into makeup, wasn't into any of that. Um, I devoted my entire life taking care of my family, my kids, my husband, my house, my job. Like everything was just nothing about me. And then last year, um, I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. And I went under, you know, I went through an operation and treatment and everything. And as of right now, I'm cancer free. Like, yay, everything's good. But of course, they had to take everything um, as far as like, you know, your lady bits go. Um, they had to take all that. But um, I don't know. It was like after that operation, I started... Um, feeling this need, this desire to kind of express my femininity through makeup and um, clothing and different things. And it's just, it's been a new, newfound love, a uh, hobby, um, some might say an obsession, uh, addiction possibly, but you know, it's been very therapeutic for me. Just like I'm hoping this is going to be therapeutic. So that's it. Like I'm not telling anybody that for you to feel sorry for me. Please don't feel sorry for me. I am amazing. Like that everything worked out. No, sir. Everything worked out <laughs> amazing. Sorry, he was trying to chew the cords to the lights and I don't want him to get electrocuted. No, sir. Please don't get electrocuted. I love you. Okay. 
Am I ever going to finish this video? You're probably thinking, get on with it. Damn. Okay. Today. L let's get back. Let's focus. Today we're going to be unboxing BoxyCharm for August 2019. Um, here it is. It's adorable little box. I love BoxyCharm. Um, it is absolutely one of my favorite subs favorite subscription boxes. And because I have now decided not to buy any more makeup for the entirety of August, like, like, I'm, I'm not buying any more makeup for August. So everything that comes in my subscription boxes is the only thing I'm getting. So I'm excited to get these. Really excited. So let's see. Let's see what's in it. Okay? I kind of already know what's in it. Um, because I, I looked. But I'm going to show you guys what's in it. So... You open her up, and she looks like this. BoxyCharm, if you don't know, is a $21 a month subscription, um, five full-size items, and um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. I really like it. This theme is totally BoxyCharm. So, first thing first... We're going to pull out the Wonder Beauty. Wonder is a subscription box standard. Wonder Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. Hmm. Okay, and it is sealed. It's got like a little um, sticker seal on it. I know a lot of people complain about um, like subscription boxes saying that their stuff comes like completely unwrapped, not sealed. Like you don't know if anybody's used it or not. BoxyCharm, I feel like, is better than that. They usually have seals. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to put a little... Oh my god, it's pink. Can you see that? I expected it to just be clear. I'm totally shocked right now. It's pink. It does not smell like anything. Nothing at all. But it goes on. I mean, it's clear once you, you know. It feels nice. feels like a very nice face oil. Um, I'm not sure about the glowing properties. Let's see. I guess it does glow a little bit more than my other hand. We'll see. Okay, okay, okay. Stop talking about that. Next, we have the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. Um, in black, of course. I have a lot of mascara. And I have a lot of Tarte mascara. But I don't think I have this one. Or maybe I have a... Actually, I think I have the small mini one. But I haven't used it yet. And I actually don't think I'm going to open this one. You can see the tube. See how pretty it is? Um, bright pink with the gold. Um, ugh. I'm so tempted to like open it and show you the tube, but then I'm like, I already have like so many open mascaras and the second I open this, it's going to start like counting down to where I, it expires and I want it to expire. So please no, please stop. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep that in the package. Let's see. What's next? What's next? Uh, Steve Laurent. Um, it is a lip liner. Yep. It's a lip liner. And it is completely sealed with the plastic. Let me see if I can get the plastic off and we will swatch it. You know, I don't... I'm going to be completely honest. I don't use a lot of lip liners and I probably should. Because my lips are kind of small. They're like thin, small and thin. And I just feel like I kind of don't give them very much attention. I can't open this thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't really pay that much attention to my lips. I throw in some lipstick, like a liquid lip or a lip gloss or both or, you know, a bullet lipstick or something and I just kind of go on about my life I don't spend a whole lot of time on them because I feel like they're not like I don't want to say they don't deserve it that's 
Um, that's a weird thing to say, but it's not that. It's just I don't feel like they're a prominent feature on my face. So I just don't really fuck with it, you know? Okay, so I finally got that open. Let's put the... Mm. Well, it's a pretty color. I think it's coming off a little more pinky on camera. It's actually kind of a... Ugh. It's kind of a, a dusty, kind of brownish pink. I don't like the formula, though. I can tell you that. It is... Um, it was like crumbly and dry. Uh, yeah. I mean, I might try it on my lips, but I more than likely will pass. Okay, okay. I'm going to save the best for last. So let's start with these. It's a little duo of eyeshadows from Ace Beaut Ace Beauté. Can you see those? And, um, and the color's Cotton Candy, which is the pink one, of course. And iced latte, which I love, love a good latte. And these want so bad to be Super Shock shadows, do they not? They look exactly like the Super Shock shadows from ColourPop, the packaging. I wonder if they're going to perform like them. I hope so, because I love those. Okay, when you get the top off of the pink one that's cotton candy, you can kind of see it's like a duochrome it's like um pink and gold i don't know why i smell everything it doesn't smell like shit it smells like makeup like it doesn't what is it gonna smell like cotton candy no melissa it's not okay oh girl you are trying trying to be uh, look how much it smushed down um it really wants to be a super shock shadow. That's what it looks like on my finger. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. Well, you know what? That is a beautiful color. It is gorgeous. Can you see the color shifting in there? All right. All right. You are cute. I am happy to have her. Okay. Let's see what her friend looks like. This one is ice latte. And I love me some coffee. I drink way too much. Um, that is what the color looks like. It's like a pretty gold. Almost like a brass. Coppery brass color. And it is also very creamy and beautiful. Those are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I am very happy with that. Nice. Way to go, Boxy Charm. Ace Beauté. I've never even heard of them before. But here we go. Okay, I'm using the foam that comes in the Boxy Charm to wipe my fingers off. Because the next thing that we have in here, the last thing that we have in here, because these count, these little guys, they count as one item. So we have this, 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 and this so that's four and number five is from Becca you guys see that it's from Becca it is the Hydra Mist set and refresh powder now I have seen people talk about this and I have seen people use this and everyone either loves it or they hate it and um, it's got the little Becca spaceship logo thing oh please don't look even though it's reflective, do not look at the rest of my house. Thank you. Um, so I am curious if I'm going to love it or hate it. What do you guys think? It says, keep me closed to keep me cool. Can you read that? Um, and we're just going to pop it open. And then there's the little seal. It's sealed. So... Nobody has to worry about anybody licking their ice cream, you know? That's disgusting. Like, oh, oh, there's already a lot of powder. Okay, can you see the, see it? Okay, let's see. It's supposed to, um, 
Oh, such a weird, like, netting almost for this. It doesn't feel like, like I'm touching it and it doesn't feel like anything. Oh, that's weird. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try again. Okay, so I got a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to put it on my hand. Oh, it's so weird. As soon as you put it on your skin and like rub it around, it feels wet. Like that's what people are saying. Like you can tell that there's water in it, that there's something hydrating in it. Oh, it feels so weird. For a wet, a powder to feel wet. Okay. Well, what's it actually doing to my skin though? Let's, let's pay attention to that. I mean, it's just my hand. I can't tell any difference. It's not like doing anything amazing. Oh, it's so weird. Okay. It also does not smell like anything. I need to stop smelling shit. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm so interested to use it. I'm going to use this tomorrow. Tomorrow with my makeup. Tonight, I'm going to go take what's left of my makeup from the day and I'm going to wash it off, clean my face and go to bed because it's fucking late. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, I'm excited to try it. I want to try it tomorrow. As soon as I'm going to use my foundation, use my setting powder and see how it works. Because the thing, you know, with powders, like it makes your skin look drier. And I don't know about you guys, but I have extremely dry skin. So I don't really need anything that makes me look drier. But at work, I have to wear a white lab coat because I work in a hospital. And my foundation transfers like hell on my collar. So it's like my collar's up here and it's got like these foundation marks and it's just ugh, it looks gross okay um so I have to use some kind of my point is I have to use some kind of setting powder so I do and then I end up like looking dry and cakey sometimes um so anyway that's all I have for today that was the entire boxy charm um I will read you the prices. Okay, so the Becca powder, $39. That doesn't surprise me. Becca's expensive. Um, oh, come on. They're saying this Wander oil, this face oil, this little thing right here is $42 more than the Becca thing. Oh, give me a break, BoxyCharm. Or Wander. Come on. Okay. The Tarte Big Ego Mascara, $23. The Ace Beauté Glimmer Shadow Duo, a total for two of them, is $25. All right, look. Look, look, look. You are cute. And you are beautiful. The swatches turned out great. And you're creamy and you're nice and you act like a super shock shadow. But $25... That's twelve fifty a piece. The super super shock shadows are at most six dollars a piece. Mm. All right, all right. That's why I love Boxy Charm. I would never pay that, but I still have it. The Steve Laurent lip liner, which in all likelihood I'll probably never use, fifteen dollars. Um, so you can see, even with the lip liner, which was kind of a dud, um. Everything else is great. It's all brand name. And you get more than your money's worth. Way more than your money's worth in my opinion. Um, so I think it's a good box. I'm excited about it. I'm happy I got it. Um, if you would like to get one, I will leave a link in the description. Like down there. Boop. Um, and you can go get your own. They do have a bigger box called the boxy Lux, but it's only seasonal so i think the next time we get that is in september but i'm not 100 sure but it wasn't this month okay so um let's see is that it is that all we want to talk about i think it is um thanks for hanging out with me uh you're the best if anybody's watching this you're the best you know you're the best um and if you 
subscribe, like the video, uh, ring the notification bell, um, all that stuff. We can do this again next time. And that's it. That's all I have for today. So I hope you all have an amazing day. Whatever day you're watching this, whenever you find this video, I hope it's a wonderful day for you. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah.